I asked this woman if I could buy a goat, and she laughed and she says, honey, if you can catch one, you can have it. Mary caught one all right. Just ask her oldest daughter, Mallory McCurdy. I wish I could be like everyone else, but we had, we had goat milk. As a biology major, Mary was fascinated with the genetics of goats. She started breeding the wild ones with purebreds and showing them. So I went to my first national show and I had grand champion, reserve grand champion, best of breed, and cleaned up. So it was really, people were really upset about it. Basically, it's like going to the pound and winning at the Westminster Dog Show. Mary kept breeding and winning, even making the local paper. Soon she had a herd of 50, producing about 70 gallons of milk a day. With so much extra, she decided to try crafting some homemade goat cheese, which wasn't exactly easy in the 1980s. There were no cheese books then, so I just got French cheese books, and I didn't speak French and just went by the photos. Her kitchen became a culinary laboratory. There were bags of cheese hanging everywhere in the kitchen with whey draining into the pots all over the counters. This is fromage blanc. It's just a few days from the goat to the bowl. After making the basic cheese, she would line her counter with herbs and spices and start to experiment. But typically you want more than one flavor to be there so you get a complexity. At first she hand wrapped it, gave some to friends and family and sold a little. She made uh, cheese out of our barn and people would come and leave money in the refrigerator and pick up cheese out of the refrigerator. Then came a chance to make some real money. A friend of mine opened a restaurant and she said, well, if you set up a commercial creamery, I'll buy your cheese. And I just said, cool, I'll do that. She bought a dilapidated old farm called Cypress Grove Dairy, fixed it up, and named her new business Cypress Grove Chev, Chev being French for goat cheese, and the family pitched in. My family loaned me $10,000. I kept the books at home when I was 15 years old. I was trying to just sell locally, that was my goal, but Humboldt County, I think our population's I don't know, maybe 150,000, it's not much. So mother and daughter decided to take their cheese to the fancy food show in San Francisco. We used to do it on a shoestring budget, so we would pack, it, pack our um, demo stuff in our suitcases and check it as luggage at the airport. And typically you rent a booth, but at the beginning we couldn't afford that, so I had cheese in my purse. I had no clue what I was getting in for. The goats were my, my real attraction at that time, more than the cheese. But by 1989, her little side job got so busy, she gave up the goats to devote full time to her cheese. If you look down in there, you can see the very fresh curd just starting to form. A big part of the success was Cypress Grove's ability to make artisanal cheeses on a large scale. Cheese is an art form. The inspiration for Mary's number one selling artwork, Humboldt Fog, actually came to her after her first visit to France. On the trip back, I had a dream of Humboldt Fog. I had the perfect image of the cheese and how it would look and what the name was and everything. 20 years later, it still made the same way.